Good morning, friends. Thank you for tuning in to today's session of Great Life and for subscribing to our channel. Let's get started. In the words of the legendary Michael Jordan, some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, others make it happen. This statement, though simple, carries a profound truth about the power of action. It's a powerful reminder that wanting or wishing for something isn't enough. We need to step up, take the reins, and make things happen. Consider for a moment the difference between wanting, wishing, and making. To want is to harbor a desire. It's a passive state, a yearning for something to come into being. To wish, on the other hand, is to hope for something, often without the commitment to bring it into fruition. Then there's making it happen. This is where the magic truly lies. To make it happen is to actively pursue a goal or a dream, to put in the effort, the sweat, the time, and the perseverance to turn it into reality. It's about taking control, taking responsibility, and taking action. The power of making it happen is undeniable. It's not just about achieving a desired outcome. It's about the journey, the growth, and the transformation that takes place along the way. It's about the strength and resilience that are built, the lessons that are learned, and the character that is shaped. Making it happen is about moving beyond the realm of dreams and wishes and stepping into the arena of action. It's about refusing to be a bystander in your own life and choosing instead to be the driving force. In this journey, we will encounter obstacles and challenges. There will be times of doubt and moments of failure, but it's in these moments that we truly discover our potential, our capabilities and our strength. Today, we bring to you stories of individuals who didn't just want or wish, they dared to make it happen. They faced adversity head on, overcame obstacles and turned their dreams into reality. They are the living embodiments of Michael Jordan's powerful words. So let's delve into the lives of some individuals who didn't just want or wish, but made it happen. Let's begin with the tale of J.K. Rowling, the renowned author of the Harry Potter series. A single mother living on benefits, she was a woman seemingly defeated by life. However, J.K. Rowling held onto her dreams tenaciously. Joanne Rowling, known to us as J.K., was born in Yate, England. As a child, she was a voracious reader, her nose forever buried in books. This love for stories led her to dream of becoming a writer. Fast forward to the early 90s. Rowling found herself in a bleak situation. Unemployed, divorced, and raising a child on her own, she was diagnosed with clinical depression. But she clung onto her dream. She began to pen down a story that had been brewing in her mind for years. The tale of a boy wizard, Harry Potter. She would sit in the back of a cafe, her baby daughter sleeping next to her, as she created a magical world on paper. Rejection letters piled up, but she did not let that deter her. She was determined to make her dream a reality, and she persevered. Her manuscript was rejected by not one, not two, but twelve publishing houses. Rowling could have given up then, she could have let the rejections define her, but she didn't. She chose to make it happen, she chose to keep going, and then Bloomsbury, a small publishing house in London, gave her a chance. The rest, as they say, is history. The Harry Potter series has since sold over 450 million copies worldwide and has been translated into 78 languages. Rowling's journey from rags to riches is a testament to her resilience and determination. It's a testament to her belief in herself and her story. She didn't just dream of success, she worked for it, she made it happen. Rowling didn't just want to be a writer, she made it happen. Next, we look at the life of Elon Musk, a man who is revolutionizing the way we view space travel. Elon Musk, the name synonymous with the future, is the epitome of a game changer. Born in South Africa, Musk moved to the United States with a dream to change the world. His journey has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride filled with high peaks of success and deep valleys of failures. His ambitious venture, SpaceX, was a dream to make space travel accessible to mankind. But the journey to realize this dream was riddled with challenges. The initial years of SpaceX were marked by a series of failures. The first three launches of the Falcon 1 rocket ended in explosions. Each failure was a blow to the company's finances and reputation. But did Musk give up? No, instead he doubled down on his dream. He put his own fortune on the line to keep SpaceX afloat. He chose to learn from his failures, using them as stepping stones to success. Each explosion, each setback, was a lesson that propelled him forward. Then came the fourth launch. The world watched with bated breath as the Falcon 1 rocket launched into the sky. And it was successful. SpaceX had made it to orbit. It was a moment of triumph, a testament to Musk's unwavering determination and resilience. 
Today, SpaceX stands as a beacon of innovation and audacity. It has revolutionized space travel, paving the way for a future where humans could become interplanetary species. It's not just about reaching for the stars anymore, it's about making a home among them. Musk's journey is a reminder that the path to making it happen is often littered with obstacles. But it's those who persist, those who learn from their failures and keep moving forward, who ultimately change the world. Musk didn't just wish for a new era of space exploration, he made it happen. And who could forget the story of Oprah Winfrey, a woman who rose from poverty to become a global media powerhouse. Born into a life of hardship in rural Mississippi, Oprah's beginnings were far from auspicious. She was raised in an environment of poverty and faced numerous adversities, including physical and emotional abuse. Yet Oprah's story is not one of despair but of triumph, for she was not a woman to be kept down by circumstances. Oprah's unyielding resilience began to shine through as she entered her teens. She became determined to turn her life around and sought out education as her means of escape. She excelled in school, earned a scholarship to Tennessee State University, and began to pave a path out of her difficult beginnings. But Oprah's journey to becoming a media mogul was not without hurdles. She faced discrimination, both as a woman and as an African American. She was told she was unfit for television news because she was too emotionally invested in her stories. But did she let these rejections deter her? No, she took these criticisms, turned them around, and used them to carve out a niche for herself in the world of talk shows. Oprah Winfrey, with her empathetic and genuine style, revolutionized the talk show industry. She created a platform for individuals to share their stories, a platform where difficult topics were not avoided but confronted head on. She became a beacon of inspiration for millions around the world, showing that it's not where you come from but where you're going that matters. Her success did not stop at her talk show though. She built a media empire, branched out into acting, publishing, and philanthropy. Her name became synonymous with success, and she used this success to uplift others. She established the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, using her influence to empower the next generation of female leaders. Oprah's journey is a testament to the power of ambition, resilience, and an unwavering belief in oneself. It's a story of a woman who faced adversity and chose to rise above it, who chose to make her dreams a reality. Oprah didn't just want to succeed, she made it happen. And now, let's turn the mirror towards ourselves. Every single one of us has the power to make things happen. Just like J.K. Rowling, Elon Musk, and Oprah Winfrey. Remember, their stories started much like ours. They were ordinary people with extraordinary dreams, and they chose to make those dreams a reality. You see, it's not about where we come from or what we currently have. It's about where we want to go and the steps we're willing to take to get there. It's about having that make it happen mentality. But how do we cultivate this mindset? First, define your goal. What is that one thing you want to achieve more than anything else? Maybe it's to write a best-selling novel, to launch a successful business, or to make a positive impact in the world. Whatever it is, make it clear in your mind. Next, believe in your ability to achieve it. Remember, belief is a powerful motivator. It's the driving force that pushes us to keep going, even when the going gets tough. Then make a plan, break down your goal into manageable steps. Each step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to your dream. And finally, take action. Don't just stand on the sidelines, wishing and wanting. Be like Michael Jordan on the basketball court, always ready to take the shot. Yes, there will be challenges. Yes, there will be setbacks. But remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. Every failure is a stepping stone to success. So don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. Don't just want or wish for a better life, make it happen. Be the author of your own story. Be the architect of your own destiny. Be the one who makes it happen. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the dreams we have, but the actions we take. Don't just want or wish for a better life, make it happen. We hope you enjoyed today's video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you found value in our content, please don't forget to share and subscribe.